But uh, let's quickly move on. India's top market men gave a thumbs up to Chandra's appointment. Here is Shireen conversation with some of the biggest names, starting with the biggest deal maker in India, Inc., Namesh Kampani. Mr. Kampani, thank you very much for joining us on CNBC TV 18. And Chandra Shekharan, it is as the chairman of Tata Sons. Uh, uh, do you be believe that this brings closure to this bitter boardroom battle that has been underway for over two months now? Yeah, I think so. And um, my congratulations to Chandra. Uh, fantastic choice. I am delighted. He has been a veteran of the Tata Group. And uh, he has been with the group for a long time. He knows the ethos, value, and system of Tata's. He also is involved in a, in a TCS for a very long time. Therefore, the main strong company also he knows extremely well. And I'm sure that he will be able to coordinate with all the group CEOs and the companies and uh, deliver a fantastic result for Tata's. A great hard worker, runner, you know, and therefore, you know, it's a great choice. What do you believe will be the challenges uh, that uh, uh, he is going to be faced with, Mr. Kampani, as he steers this large, diversified conglomerate forward through these turbulent times? You see, he knows the TCS extremely well, but he will have to work with other group and other CEOs. And therefore, you know, he will have to grasp those businesses as quickly as he can. But he will be more on the strategy and the policy side. The day-to-day -day business will be run by the CEOs of the group. And uh, on that basis, you know, he has to contribute and make sure that there's a complete teamwork within the Tata group. And, you know, maybe, you know, he can, uh, you know, meet periodically different, different CEO, maybe out there off-site, you know, and work together and create a great team-building exercise for the Tata group. And I'm sure, you know, he's a, he's a very great team player. So, you know, he will be a, a, a great leader. And the leadership is extremely important for this group. And I think I'm sure that he's young enough, you know, to demonstrate that and continue that legacy Mr. Tata Group and Mr. Tata has built over a period of time, you know, in the Tata. Mr. Bansali, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Uh, it is now official. It is N. Chandrasekharan. Your first reaction. I feel sad about uh, the manner in which he has been uh, brought in, but I feel very excited that someone of his stature, capability and familiarity is now, you know, going to chair the most important business group of our country. So I would very much want to welcome him. I've known Chandra for a long, long time, and I think under the circumstances, no better candidate could have been found. What is it about Chandra that you believe Mr. Bansali makes him the right candidate for the job? Yes, we know the TCS story, and it's the largest contributor to the Tata Group's profits and so on and so forth. But we are now talking not about a software company. We're talking about a large, uh, diversified conglomerate. What do you believe about Chandra makes him the ideal fit for the job, besides the fact that he's an insider? Uh, the fact that he is a matrix person. Uh, and he's not only a matrix person for the business that he ran, but uh, the business uh, of uh, software allowed him or, you know, necessitated that he consulted clients of every variety. For example, whether it was retail, whether it was banking financial services, it was manufacturing, it was healthcare. TCS had such a large footprint across sectors, across countries. And that always gave him an insight. And I, I've known him for many, many years and how he has come up from the ranks. So he is very much a detailed person, a crunch, uh, number cruncher. His uh, capability with numbers is phenomenal. And the fact that he has been on Tadasan's board for a while, he is quite familiar with those challenges, which you said you don't want me to count. But uh, he has been shrewdly and on the sidelines looking at all the issues very carefully. So I think he is a fantastic choice. Okay, Mr. Bansali, I'd request you to just hold on for a second, sir. We've also got Mr. Nimesh Kampani and joining us now is Ramdeo Agarwal of Motila Loswal. Ramdeo, let me start by asking you about how you see the markets reacting to this uh, news. Uh, N. Chandrasekharan taking over the entire uh, Tata empire, so to speak. See, uh, first thing is that uh, he's the best choice uh, in the given situation. And he's very competent. I know him for such a long time. 
and uh, I've been interacting with him. I think the real challenge will be that uh, he has managed uh, the India's most expensive company, almost four and a half lakh crores, five lakh crores market cap, and uh, so the complexity which is involved is not no less. But I think he is going to see a different level of complexity uh, because now this is going to be a portfolio of the companies which are very good, and there are some uh, some businesses which are kind of in a challenging situations. So how does he uh, straddle through the bad businesses or bad uh, headwinded businesses? That'll be his challenge. But the best will come out of him. He has uh, he has done so many so many things in the past. I'm sure uh, he'll he'll rise on the occasion. And this is an opportunity for him. All the best to him. Uh, Ramdev, I'll, I'll request you to hold on for just a second. Gentlemen, I know we've got a packed house here. Manish Chokani also joining us. Manish, good to have you on CNBC TV 18 along with uh, Mr. Kampani, Mr. Bansali and Ramdeo. Uh, your first thoughts, Manish, on what this means for the Tatas and what this means now as far as closure, bringing to closure uh, this bitter boardroom battle that has been underway for over two months now. So, Shireen, I think this is uh, the best news which everyone was waiting for. Uh, I think it will be seen in history as, you know, the right person who came uh, to lead the group, someone who has leadership qualities over and above everything else. He has the stature because he's dealt with Fortune 500 CEOs globally. He's dealt with leaders of countries globally. Uh, and like I said earlier, he's really a leader of men. And when you sit as chairman of a large group, you need to be an inspiring figure who will lead the CEOs of iconic companies who will report to him. And from a stock market's perspective, he's already de demonstrated his ability to deliver numbers. Uh, he sees the big picture. He has the detail. He has the connectivity. Most people you will call today will fondly recollect their friendship with him across the years. He spent 30 years uh, in the Tata Group already, so he's very much the insider. Uh, and uh, we just look forward to at least the next 30 years, uh, well, 20 years, I'm guessing, uh, as uh, a chairman who will transform this group for the better. So fantastic news and uh, wish him great success. Well, those were all the